Neighborhood Association is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. Not? We do not fear your magic, little wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We are venom to all who oppose her. And you are large. Quickly, do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen.
son of a bitch slime me. Ah, the main course has arrived. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. We're here. I won't forget this. No help. Vampires are not the only ones who should fear you. Off me! Time to lick our wounds! 
felt that one. Has anyone ever heard the expression, kill it with fire? A triumphant effort. No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <coughs> Spider Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but. Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Oh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. Now that things have settled down, you should get some rest. It won't always be this quiet. Now that things have settled down, you should get some rest. It won't always be this quiet. That was a complete fiasco. 
And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten a hunter. Yes, one disaster averted. But we still need to figure out how to get Wanda and the Sanctum back. Not the outcome I envisioned for our first mission together, but you know what they say. Any mystical battle you can teleport away from. You did okay out there, considering you were technically dead 72 hours ago. An impressive first outing, just as I had. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. Your support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. I already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Let her enjoy the moment. 
She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the Forge. I think he has another present for you. Good girl, Charlie. <laughs> Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Always on the hunt, right? Next thing I know, the sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in? Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. That explains so much. No wonder. Heard you had a nightmare. In the words of Agami Ito, don't be afraid. Bad dreams are only dreams. I'm a vampire. I see everything. <sighs> Let's talk later, Hunter. Tony will start pouting if you keep him waiting too long. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... <clears throat> yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. I could have used a cloak 